Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in love in the month of November 2020. This is going to be a quick love message for November 2020 for you, Aquarius. I've already shuffled the deck so we can just go ahead and get started. Okay, the first card we have for you, Aquarius, is the Tower. The Tower, so this is a major arcana. This is a very intense card, obviously. This represents um, total destruction, a total um, ending, a complete ending of something. Um, it represents something being just completely eliminated from your life um, or something being just completely finished in your life. Um, so for some of you, this is a relationship that is um, has come to its end. Um, it's served you as much as it could serve you. It's um, it has lasted in your life as much as it was destined to last, and now it's like time for a complete renewal or a complete you know new beginning. So this is the first card. The next card we have here is the Four of Wands. So many people have been getting this card for some reason. So this represents a passionate new relationship with, or um, it, I do say I do feel like it's new because it's um, it it usually is a card that that f follows. Uh, a relationship where you are just dating someone, where you're just getting to know someone, and um, you haven't really committed to that person yet. But with this card, um, it does feel like you are um, in this sort of passionate relationship where things are moving really quickly between you and another person, and you are just kind of ready to take things to a new level and to just completely leave um, the an old situation that you've had in your life. You're ready to completely start new and to just eliminate something from your life that, it, that no longer works for you or that is no longer making you happy or serving you in any positive way. So you're ready to just completely turn the page of your life and start a new chapter. So that's what I'm feeling there. The last card we have here is the Seven of Pentacles. So this represents a card of you working towards a goal, working towards um, to, towards some sort of desire, to some sort of objective that you have, and putting a lot of your time and your effort into into making something manifest and something making trying to make something into a reality um, some desire that you have so again this could be this relationship that you've been um, dedicating and investing some of your time and your energy into and your effort and um, you're trying to progress this relationship and trying to slowly build it into something that can be um, stable and committed. Um, so I do feel like, um, yeah, I do feel like things are not exactly where you want them to be yet because the Seven of Pentacles sometimes represents challenges and um, difficulties. So I do feel like there are some things in your life that are holding you back um, and it can be related to this Tower card where things are, it's like a process. It's a process for you to um, to move past the things that have been in your life for many years. And um, it takes time to kind of close that chapter. And you're in, you're in that process of closing that chapter and starting a new one with someone that you are passionate about. So this can be someone that you have already met or someone that you're going to meet. So that's what I see, Aquarius. I hope this reading made sense to somebody out there. I hope it was useful. 
and helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye, Aquarius.